Hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to do a very interesting pick a card reading i often you know your people say oh sheetal i saw this sign what would that mean or i'm seeing this continuously what would it be you know trying to tell me so this particular um reading is for you to know what message uh, are the signs trying to tell you or what message the divine has for you uh, and uh, you know why the divine is showing you the signs that you are seeing what is it that you should know okay so as always we have three options over here option number one is this beautiful peach roses Option number two is this bunch of orange roses. And option number three, we have this lovely pink roses. So you can choose any option that you are drawn towards. In case if you're confused as to what option you should be choosing, you can just take three pieces of paper. In each piece of paper, write one pile number. That is either pile one or pile two or pile three. And just say, dear God, Goddess, Archangels, you have been showing me a lot of signs. I want to know what are you trying to tell me why are the signs okay and then pick up any one piece of number whatever number comes that's going to be your message all right so let's get started hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always this is Sheila Sapan Matre welcome to my channel today we are going to see what the divine wants to tell you why are all the signs that you have been seeing it could be feathers it could be numbers it could be um dreams all right so what is it that the divine wants to tell you all right so you have chosen this beautiful peach um bunch of peach roses i feel that somewhere you are very loving and caring and nurturing however you have been disappointed by people people around and now you have decided you know what i will ensure that i love but i do not love at the cost of sacrificing my peace um, my self-respect is what i am getting now let me keep your beautiful rose aside okay and let's see your tarot cards what are they going to tell us so I'm using the spiral tarot deck. I am seeing symbols. Okay, I'm seeing symbols. I'm seeing feathers. I kind of see that you have seen some animal in your dream or something like that and you're wondering what like what is this dream all about the first thing god wants to tell you is the seven of cups okay so the signs are telling you that get your head out of the clouds stop overthinking stop analyzing stop you know ripping everything apart to understand uh, what is you know uh, what what would happen if this happens okay so this entire uh, loop that you are in you need to kind of let go of as this loop is just you know kind of making you anxious it's also blocking the divine from interacting with you all right so it's very very important that you not let your energy get fragmented okay the next card that you have got is 10 of wands the divine wants you to slow it down you have been taking a lot of stress and this burden is affecting your health and your peace of mind as well the divine also wants to tell you via the signs the signs are telling you that it's time to slow down okay take this message very seriously and don't just you know write it off 
it's important that you delegate responsibility and uh, you don't let yourself get caught in this drama that other people are trying to create into your life it's their karma their path not yours all right so let go of this drama trauma and focus on self care right now that's important the next message that you got is death now this does not mean that you know something bad is going to happen to you this card is telling you that uh, this this sign that you have been seeing okay it's trying to tell you that you know what slow down okay slow down take a pause you don't have to kind of do everything uh, today okay you you see taking action is a good thing but taking action and not resting and rejuvenating that's not right you know, if you have to do 10 things do the do five most important things and the other five need to wait or you need to delegate it it's clearly trying to tell you that don't try to do everything on your own i also feel that somebody who has moved on to the other realm is telling you that they are fine okay you don't have to be worried i feel that there is some guilt around someone who has passed to the other realm and you are holding that guilt and you're burdening yourself down you keep on thinking what if i would have done this what if i would have done that well here the divine is telling you that stop okay uh, the signs are telling you to stop pause everything was the way it was meant to be i also see that some of you are seeing angel number 444111 all right so this numbers are telling you that millions of angels are with you do not worry you are not alone i feel that this moving of this loved one has kind of made you feel that you're all alone you're unsupported you're numb right now in your heart you're doing everything but you're doing it very technically so divine is telling you that pause stop don't let it affect you uh, the the loved one is still with you they are fine they are safe they are okay all right don't carry this burden that's also a sign that i am seeing uh another message that i am getting is that you need to accept change there is a resistance to acceptance of change and this resistance is keeping you where you are it's not helping you to kind of move on to try different things okay so the change is very very important that's a very important factor all right now let's see your other cards the story that i'm getting is that you keep on overthinking you keep on going on in loops and this stresses you out this stresses you out to such an extent that you your energy is getting all drained and it's and it's like you know you feel as if life is you know uh, life is very burdensome things are very difficult so don't let don't let this unnecessary thoughts affect your energies that's not going to help you take help go for therapy go for counseling uh, you know i hear many people say oh it's expensive yes but uh, medication is more expensive if you go for therapy your mental health becomes okay your if your mental health is okay then your physical health automatically also becomes okay of course you need to go to the right doctor take proper medication and all of that now let's see what your angel cards are going to tell us before that let me tell you that the lion gate portal is today and it's a great day to manifest uh, miracles in your life and i am taking a webinar on how you can tap into this energy and make the most of it i kept it at a very low price 199 so that maximum people can avail it and get the benefit out of it as well so if you want to know more details you can click on the link in the pin comment and i am also coming up with a tarot workshop both the links are in the pin comment let's see your cards you have got take action so here you know there are two ways of taking action either you take action and burden yourself or you take action and get disconnected from the outcome all right so that's what this card is telling you that you are taking action but not in the right direction you need to start to identify the alternate possibilities and accordingly you need to take action i also feel some of you ha have been having some sort of body pain or some sort of discomfort in your body go and check with a doctor so that you know uh, 
get your test done uh, it's very important that you know one of the most important uh, rules of self care is to listen to the message that your body is giving in terms of pain discomfort and accordingly go and show it to the right doctor and get yourself treated let's your next message you got to forgive okay so this forgiveness is creating a lot of resentment in your heart and giving you a lot of stress you know when we forgive it feels so light it feels so good and you kind of feel like you know you can focus on other things if you're not forgiving someone you keep on replaying those memories you know those what they did what they said to you thus creating lot of uh, you know fog fog in your head leading and it affects your energy at the end of the day so what's the point right so forgive and move on okay you got to accept love you know when you forgive you accept the love that you have in your heart when you don't forgive you are replaying the anger the resentment the hurt that is there in your heart and love and resentment can't coexist okay so the moment you will let go of this um, this unnecessary energy you will have lot of vacuum in your uh, space of your mind and your heart thus receiving lot of love also this card is telling you that it's time you receive love okay love does not have to be only romantic it can be from friends and family and you're going to receive that love but forgive okay forgive and let go the next card you got is all is in perfect timing okay it looks like you have been waiting for something to happen i feel like it's an opportunity towards your finances or career however it has not been happening and you have been so disheartened and you've been so burdened because of this you feel that this is it this opportunity will not open this doors are never going to open i am going to go further spiraling down so that's what you are feeling however this card is telling you do not worry everything will happen in a perfect timing right now whatever is not happening is because the timing is not right okay this is it it's time to take action now i'll be here to help you every step of the way okay that's what archangel michael is telling you do not worry he is there to help you and things will start the doors are are opening right now and today we are on the lions gate portal is open and see what card you have received isn't that amazing wow look at this i did tell you with this card abundance is coming your way do not worry do not be like oh i am stuck things are just not working out for me uh, i am just spiraling down no you are not okay abundance is meant to be yours the only thing is take action in the right direction and forgive because when you forgive your vibrations go up and when your vibrations go up you attract the most beautiful things in life you got oh you break the chain okay so there is this pattern that you have all right uh, with regards to ancestral patterns healing you can rewrite the future now how do you rewrite the future by first forgiving by taking action by having an abundant mindset by receiving love and by not thinking too much okay so rewriting the future means breaking the chain right now you need to break the chain chain so that you can rewrite your future the next card you got is expectation so whatever expectations you have all right they will come to fruition in perfect timing you do not have to worry about it okay everything will happen in perfect timing and um, the only thing that you need to do is identify what is it that you need to do in order to make your expectations come true that is something which you need to identify okay you got over here now coincidentally I kept it on the card of ancestral patterns healing break the chain you know even if you do a simple prayer like god god is archangels please bless my ancestors even that prayer is very very effective all right you don't have to say big big paragraphs for that even a simple prayer that god god is archangel just bless my ancestors keep them happy is very effective as well now let's see what the signs are telling you to surrender the signs are telling you to surrender stubbornness okay it's important to be flexible at times we feel i am right 
okay and you you are right it's not that you're not right but just because you are right you need not be stubborn about it okay we can be right and loving as well for example if you feel that okay this person has done or this person you know uh, this friend of mine has really disappointed me by taking advantage of me okay now here you can be right, you are right okay and you can be loving as well you just need not be rude to the person you you can just avoid being with with this person meeting this person but when you come across this person you can just smile when the person you can text a person happy birthday uh, when their birthday is there you don't have to be so resentful that you don't even want to see their face you don't want to you know be block them everywhere you don't have to do all of that okay you can be right and kind please remember that okay now let's see what your tea leaf cards are going to tell us okay this particular card oh my god look at that you got feather oh you got okay you got i think five cards all right the first card that you have got is the feather okay so this card so you may be seeing a lot of feathers someone you know is undependable and insincere so you right now have someone in your life who whom you cannot depend on and that might be giving a lot of stress however please understand that you need to accept love and uh, accept self love as well so that you don't entertain this person unnecessarily you got key successful outcome to your problems okay this is one of the message that you're getting so some of you may have received a key and look at this i kept it on the door coincidentally okay so this this means that the, this particular key will be presented to you to open this door okay so there the, the the problem that you have been facing you will have a successful outcome to, for it the next card that you have got is a quill get back to the basics at times we make things so fancy that it doesn't help us it makes things really go down all right at times we keep things basic and really really helps for example uh, i heard so many influencers say you know that when they put a reel from which they have the least expectation it goes viral it gets it gets them a lot of followers at times they really make an amazing reel and they post it and nothing comes out of it right so at times just go back to the basics all right uh, you can just go back to what you were doing which helped you to get what you want in the past and repeat the same formula it may help of course you know you need to kind of think um at times you need to break patterns okay and have breakthroughs that's where the death card comes in the the transformation all right and at times you need to kind of identify certain patterns Uh, certain uh, certain methods that you have done in the past which has given you great results for example in the past you had uh, like currently suppose you're not getting growth in your job in the past you had uh, asked for a departmental transfer this way you were able to kind of get a break from the monotonous things and learn new things today identify can you do that or do you need to really change your field okay or maybe change your organization or upgrade your skills so try and focus on alternate possibilities and take calculated risk okay flowers so some of you may be seeing repeated flowers as well so definitely a lot of happiness is going to come your way do not worry the next card that you have got is bridge oh my god why oh, i already removed this card Oh my god look at this you have got two cards that say the same thing what a coincidence successfully overcoming a problem and successful outcome to your problems now now you may be like oh this two are same thing well there's a difference here there's a problem and you're you're able to overcome it okay you're able to resolve this problem second is whatever problem you have got okay that will be resolved successfully here the you get the means to solve the problem and here the problem is going to get solved okay 
that is so amazing isn't it now let's see what your book of answers is going to tell us so think about some area where you need a guidance you don't really care so it means that you don't really want it enough or you really need to kind of focus on taking efforts to get what you want okay that would be a waste of money so if something you have been thinking about i you know research and then think about putting your money in it okay all right now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us think about a question group one and let me spin the wheel for you you have got a yes so whatever you asked the answer is a yes all right group one i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you are guided and yes today is the lions gate portal webinar happening don't miss this opportunity uh to to grab okay the abundance that's your on your way already i believe lot many participants have enrolled for the same and few seats are remaining we have only 500 seats for this particular uh, webinar all right take care of yourself lots of love to you and bye bye hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to see what's the signs that you are constantly seeing whether it is numbers angel numbers or whether it is feathers or a dream whatever it is that you're constantly seeing what are these signs trying to tell you okay what is god's message why are these signs so uh you have chosen this orange beautiful orange uh, flowers so i somewhere feel that um you are really trying to focus on creating harmony in your life you are you are also trying to create something in your life and you are facing a lot of obstacles in creating whatever it is that you want to create all right and you are so frustrated with that you tried everything but somehow it is just not getting created okay so let's see what your cards are going to tell us just trying to beautify your pile okay i'm hearing a song there is some song that you know keeps on playing on its own okay it it is around miracle and uh, i'm hearing three words the song is around miracle love and god okay either of the three or maybe all the three since so many of you are watching this video okay message from the signs that you are receiving i'm using the golden foil tarot all the links are given the description column of the tarot cards and the oracle cards that i'm using let's see your message the first card that you have got is the chariot card okay so here the messages are telling you that move ahead okay don't look behind move ahead in the past you had faced a similar issue however you were able to overcome it with grit because you have this never give up attitude so here the signs are telling you don't give up keep trying keep moving ahead i also feel that some of you are going to travel or the, the signs are telling you that you're going to travel and for some it's going to be a vehicle i also feel that some of you pray to lord shiva and you have been really connected to him and he is with you the signs are also telling you that he is with you in maybe in the form of kal bhairava maybe in the form of uh 
Shiva. Okay. However, he is there with you and he is helping you to move ahead. Don't think that your prayers are not getting heard. All right. Your prayers are getting heard and the preparation is being done by the divine to release the answers to your prayers. So don't give up before a miracle. The next card that you have got is the three of wands. Now here the divine is trying to tell you why the signs that decide that start visualizing is one thing that I just heard. Start visualizing about your future. Earlier you used to do it but now you don't. Why is it so? All right. Uh, also the divine is telling you that you need to cooperate and collaborate if you wish to grow. You cannot be like an island. All right. This card is also telling you that plan, do proper planning. Just don't be like today you got up, so you'll go left. Tomorrow you got up, okay. Tomorrow you get up and you go right. Don't have a proper planning. Organize your life. Declutter, declutter the space around you. That's very important. The next card that you have got is four of wands. Here the divine is telling you that your dreams regarding the home, the signs that you're receiving regarding the a uh, home or this the signs are telling you that your dreams regarding a home is going to get fulfilled you do not have to worry if this dream is regarding some sort of celebration some sort of event the signs are telling you that this dream of yours regarding this event home or celebration is going to happen you need not worry i also feel that your dream is around some sort of um like this, this, the signs are telling you that fill yourself with action and adventure. Your dream is around traveling. Your dream is around, um, around a home. Your dream is around, you know, uh, uh, having good time with friends as well. Your dream is around a vehicle is also I'm hearing. All right. So all these dreams will come true. Just wait. It, it's like a long term. In long term, things will work out even right now. Even if you feel right now, nothing is working out for you. Okay, so have that faith. Let's see your other cards. Before I remove your other cards, today is the Lion's Gate Portal's peak. Okay, and you can take advantage of this peak of the Lion's Gate Portal by uh, enrolling for my webinar, uh, which I'm going to conduct today live on 8th of August. Even if you happen to see this re recording later, you can avail it. The link is in the pinned comment and uh, it's just for $1.99. I kept it very low so that maximum people can take advantage of it. So don't miss this opportunity. We uh, The seats are nearly full and we have only 500 uh, seats. Okay. So let's see ahead. And also the tarot workshop is on. You can check the link as well. The next message the divine wants to tell you is that focus on improving your health. Okay, think long term. It's good to party and have fun, but try and eat healthy. All right. Try and balance your meals is also what I'm getting. Also, you need to do some sort of activity. Clearly, you need to do some sort of activity with a chariot card and the four of wands. I clearly see that you need to do activity to improve your health and think about long-term goals when it comes to your health not short-term gratification is what the signs are trying to tell you the next card that you have got is hibernation and regeneration so it is important that you take rest all right why has it become dark suddenly i feel the lights are a little okay I just switched off on two more lights. Okay, so you really need to rest it out for improving your health. You need to eat right. You need to rest it out. You need to move your body so that your health improves. Focus on improving your health. Because somewhere, I feel that some of you have been trying for a child. Okay, some of you. And it's not happening. So here, the cast are telling you that focus on, you know, on your health. Take rest ensure that you are uh, taking proper sleep and everything okay that's your next card you got over here stand up for yourself you don't have to kind of take everything that everyone tells you okay when you feel that somebody is disrespecting you 
very politely tell the other person i'm sorry but i will not be taking this uh, particular uh, talk that you are just spreading about me okay i understand that you have your own point of view about me but keep it to yourself you don't have to spread it around because that's not a right point of view you can be courageous and polite okay so stand up for yourself you don't have to take this unnecessary um, you know a uh, drama that the other people are trying to create in your life okay let's see your next card i feel that there is some sort of darkness okay because even the lights have suddenly become very dull and everything i feel that there is this feeling this low feeling that you know what my dreams are not going to come true i have to give up on it so let go of that energy in the past whenever you have had issues the divine has helped you right the next card that you have got is regain your focus so travel life matters are distracting you from your goals it's time archangel metatron is telling you that get grounded and get to work all right that's what the wands are and the chariot card is telling you as well get back to action all right stop i feel that some of you are so busy with your friends that you are kind of you know forgotten your path so it's good to have friends it's good to have fun with your friends but it's also important to keep a tab on your path okay so that you keep on progressing and are not left out the next card that you got is solitude it's time you you just spend some time alone i feel that earlier you used to do that every day you would sit in silence for some time meditate journal however now you are not doing it you are like so much into social media and what's happening around that you have you have kind of you know your energy is not focused that's why you got this two cards okay so stay spend some time with yourself and try and get that focus back the next card you got is warrior woman so the chariot is also a card of warrior all right and you have got a warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling so what is your deepest calling ask yourself what is it that you love to do if money was not an issue now don't tell me sleeping and eating okay uh, great if you love to sleep if you like to eat but is that your deepest calling something that gives you uh, that sense of satisfaction that sense of achievement fulfillment okay ask what gives you sense of achievement fulfillment content that satisfaction that you feel at the soul level the next card that you got is community i feel that you whatever you do okay helps lot many people one of your calling is to help people do lot of service so focus on that don't get you know kind of distracted the next card that you have got is surrender to effortlessness here you feel that if i push too hard if i if i don't rest it out then i will be on the right track however this card is telling you that go with the flow don't be so stubborn and understand that you need proper rest don't push yourself unnecessarily as that's not going to help you now let's see what the tea leaf card is are going to tell us okay this just came up all right so i can't take so many cards i'll take this one i want to take this green one and uh, this green one also because it kind of took my attention where it is okay it is now hiding so let it be okay here and here let's see what all cards you have got what are they going to tell us okay first thing that you got is chain 
chain of events that will affect your life so there is going to be a lot of synchronization happening one thing happening leading to the another and i feel that right now you have taken some efforts and now you will see the chain of events happening making you feel so satisfied marriage uh, if you're already married your marriage will become stronger if you're single it means that you'll meet somebody interesting wow you got the happiness card a lot of happiness is going to come your way and with the four of wands i'm not surprised that's one message that the signs are trying to tell you that you're going to experience a lot of happiness do not worry someone is going to leave your life and this person okay uh this person looks like they have power and i also feel that this person this powerful person was kind of a little toxic you got broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem i feel that there will be a problem okay which may not have a good outcome however this problem will lead this person to leave your life which in turn will reduce the toxicity and make your health better you got claw be careful do not take risk so do not take unwarranted risk okay do your proper research see the pros and cons and then take proper risk okay now let's see what message you have got just think about something which is in your mind deal with it later so whatever you are thinking about uh, don't just you know take that risk okay ensure that you have everything the research done before you take action or a decision all right okay group 2 i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and yes i have the lions gate webinar today on 8th of august and also i have this a uh, tarot workshop coming up in which i teach everything that i know about tarot whatever i have learned in my 20 years of practicing tarot i will be teaching in this workshop it's an in depth workshop whether you're a professional or a beginner it's an amazing workshop to know how you can understand tarot cards better and tarot cards are a beautiful tool to understand your present past and future all right take care of yourself bye bye hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to see what what messages are these signs trying to tell you whatever signs that you are seeing what are they trying to tell you okay so i chosen this beautiful pink roses so i feel that somehow you give love to everyone you make everybody feel special and somewhere you feel that when am i going to be made to feel special you are happy for everybody when they get a new job when they have good things happening to them but somewhere you think when am i going to experience all these amazing things i'm happy for them but when are all these things going to happen in my life is what i'm getting now let's keep your beautiful flowers over here and let's see what your cards are going to tell us so I feel that uh, either you are very childlike, or maybe you look very young, or maybe you are short, uh, uh, like as in your body structure, it's very beautiful, and you know, like uh, short and cute. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. let's see your first message the first message that you got is temperance all right it means the signs are telling you you are receiving a lot of signs from the angels archangel michael is with you and uh, 
your message is to balance things out you need to balance things out you're overdoing too much either you are giving too much or receiving too much balance it out have a proper work life balance i also feel that if you are in some sort of conflict it's time to take the midway not my way or the highway all right i also feel with this card that the angels are telling you to stay hydrated wow you got two major arcana you got the magician card the signs are telling you that you are your you are an amazing being whatever resources you get or are given you make the most out of it so make the most out of your resources you're going to create magic in your life and accept it you have created magic in other people's life as well so accept it accept your own power realize your own power your mindset is very very powerful wow we got the ace of cards uh, cups the signs are telling you that there is going to be a new beginning in your life it could be addition in the family via marriage or birth of a child and um, for that you need to kind of believe that miracles can happen to you plus you need to kind of balance things out all right and um, again not my way or the highway when i'm looking at this cards you got such beautiful cards all right so clearly this cards are telling you to create this magic in your life all right and i you know when i look at this cards i'm seeing a story over here all right the angels okay the angels are giving you as you can see the angels holding a cup the angels are filling the cup and this cup they are giving to you you can see the water flowing in this and the water flowing in this okay the angels are filling your cup and giving it to you and they're asking you to believe that this miracle is going to happen in your life that's the story i am getting from your beautiful cards over here now let's see what your uh, oracle cards are going to tell us before i remove your oracle cards i have lions gate webinar today live which i will teach you how you can tap into abundance uh, and what all you need to do so it's happening today it's live at nine o'clock and the, uh, the the amount i kept it pretty low 199 so the maximum people can avail it at the same time i have a tarot workshop coming up as well in which i teach how you read tarot cards intuitively without by hurting them both the links are in the pinned comment that's your next card you got it's up to you so here somewhere you feel you know that whatever you're asking for there is going to be like this uh you know some outside force making it happen no you can make it happen just work on your mindset and believe that you can receive and things will start moving for you okay the next card that you have got is follow your dreams you know the divine gives us a dream because the divine believes that we have the ability to achieve this dream okay so we are no one to doubt it that whether you, you are capable or not to receive that dream you are capable that's why the divine has sowed the seed of this dream in your heart okay nurture it and grow it you got goal you don't need someone else to fix you so clearly I feel that you have been disappointed in the past and you feel that somebody else will come and fix you no you can fix it you fix yourself now here i'm not talking about any sort of mental health or physical health go check an expert okay here i'm talking about mindset all right you need to believe that you can create this change in the life that you are seeking okay push this cards a little up i feel like you need to rearrange certain things in your life your schedule the next card that you have got is take control of your thoughts you know i was saying this to you just some time back right that your mindset is important and this is telling you the same thing take control of your thoughts don't let your negative thoughts drive you all right your thoughts are creating your reality to so start believing that amazing things are going to happen to you because they will and why not 
why why won't amazing things happen to you you're such a lovely person you you are always singing amazing things about everybody so why can't great things happen to you that's just so unfair right so believe believe the next card that oh my god you know i just pick up this card and keep it aside there there are so many of your cards okay and i just find it fascinating when i say something and the same card comes in all right i have so many decks it's not possible for me to remember what card is it especially when it is upside down okay so here the you need to believe in magic you yourself are magic right so why can't you believe in magic there is magic happening to you right now just believe that it will happen okay don't give up you got no so here you know this all this vocabulary of no that your mind has created okay no wait postpone pause say no all this vocabulary of um, no that your mind has filled in and as is believing in needs to be replaced with magic and possibilities and you can do that okay you can create this possibility for yourself the next card that you have got is sudden wealth wow there is going to be this inflow of wealth that's what the signs are telling you some of you may be seeing the number 777111 as well and this is your sign you may be seeing coins on the road or you may be seeing the number 888 often as well so all this are sign that abundance is going to be yours you need to just believe in it there will be sudden inflow of wealth that will really help you out the next card that you have got is surrender your attachment to results so take action have a positive mindset however don't let uh, don't have this particular you know uh, like for example if your target is to be a particular wealth okay particular wealth okay since i was going to say weight but wealth came out suppose your target is to have a particular amount of wealth all right take action think positive however don't have this mindset that if i don't get this particular amount of wealth things are not working for me okay don't think that way be grateful for what you have give your best because that's what we can do right even when uh, we take part in competition what is what do we think give our best okay let's not be too attached to the results if we win we win all right so surrender your attachment to results because that's kind of you know crippling you now let's see what your oracle cards are going to tell us sorry tea leaf cards okay i'm going to take this cards and this as well you got two months in your card okay interesting let's see all the cards one by one the first card that you got is romance celebration and party so definitely there will be uh, some sort of celebration happening and you're going to feel so loved if you're single you may meet somebody interesting all right you got guaranteed success star oh my god this is so beautiful so you know interestingly all three piles had something or the other about success so definitely you're going to achieve a lot of success a marriage will take place in the romantic or business so there could be some sort of partnership happening or right in a party you may meet someone and you may uh, this contact may help you to get some good solid business if you're single you may meet someone in a party and uh, you know you, you may start dating each other if you're married you and your partner will have will throw a party regarding some uh, particular you know uh good thing in your life okay maybe whatever you wish for it will come through come true and you will throw a party for it you got over here tea pot d friendship with someone of the same sex so you know that's so beautiful when you are able to kind of make this intense beautiful friendship with people of the same gender or the opposite gender because there is this sense of uh, support that you get sense of uh, you know 
this this closeness companionship so that's going to happen i feel that you're going to make really good friends by you'll meet somebody in a party and you and that person will become really great friends you got the month the month of may is going to be very important for you and the month of january as well okay the next card you got is dealing a relationship with a woman so a woman is going to be play a very important role she may invite you for a party or this woman is very very important as uh, she is going to kind of help you in something or some way all right that is for sure so uh, when i'm looking at all your cards i feel the group 3 for the other other others i felt you know that there was this element wherein things were not really in their hand but in your case i feel that things are in your hand okay it's not that um something which is outside of you it's a game of mindset all right play it and win it that's important okay playing it and winning it all right so now let's see what your book of answers is going to tell us okay your action will improve things so take action and it will definitely improve things for you now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 3 and let me spin the wheel for you you got maybe the reason it's a maybe because your mindset needs to be worked on if you work on your mindset then the maybe would become what you want it to be all right group 3 i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did and today we have the lions portal lions gate webinar in which i will teach you how you can tap into it it's at a, at its peak today so you can learn how to tap into it by enrolling for the webinar already uh, the seats are almost full we have only 500 seats and out of which almost the seats are full so if you wish to be a part of this webinar you can click on the link in the pin comment and also the tarot workshop is coming up if you want to be part of the tarot workshop then the link is in the pin comment too Take care. Bye bye.